Hi, everyone. One of our lectures of this uh, image processing using Python in OpenCV, we have discussed about what is noise, what are the different type of types of noises. So we have already discussed about them. Now, today in this lecture, we are going to learn how to add Gaussian noise to an image manually in OpenCV using Python. So Gaussian noise, additive white Gaussian noise, AWGN, it has a Gaussian distribution. Remember, in our machine learning lectures, I have discussed about what is Gaussian distribution, normal distribution, right? So you got it. Gaussian noise is also known as additive white Gaussian noise. And why we call it like that, I'll show you after the implementation and the, from the result, you'll get to know about this. Signal transmission, sensor limits, and electrical components are the factors that bring about the random changes that arise. Gaussian noise appears as a soft, undetectable disturbance that gives pixels random values. And this spread results in a grainy, soft appearance to the image. And, you know, this kind of noise is frequently seen in photographic photographs and are similar to randomness that occur naturally in real world situations. But what happens because of this noise, this Gaussian noise, this type of disturbance occurs. And because of this disturbance, uh, what happens is that the important factors in an image, what are the important factors like contrast, edges, overall image clarity, they, uh, their values get degraded and thereby it affects in our image analysis process. So because of these noises, uh, means we can directly say that to isolate our region of interest or to identify the objects makes difficult or the result may not be as accurate as we want. So while discussing about the Gaussian noise, I told you about Gaussian distribution or normal distribution. So this normal distribution as we already discussed in our machine learning lecture, you know, this normal distribution, sometimes we call it Gaussian distribution because of the famous mathematician who actually introduced this type of distribution, right? The probability that various events will occur in the vicinity of a mean value is described by this normal distribution. Means whatever the values are there, they are being concentrated towards a mean value. And that type of distribution, we call it as a normal distribution. Now, with regard to Gaussian noise, the mean denotes the pixel intensity at risk, while the standard deviation regulates the distribution of noise values around the mean. In order to simulate the real world unpredictability, the normal distribution makes sure that the most noise values are close to the mean and less frequently vary greatly from it. Now, you got enough about Gaussian noise and you also know that why this type of Gaussian noise occurs because of the normal distribution. Now, how to add this Gaussian noise manually to an image? For that, we are going to use or we are going to de mean, deal with this add Gaussian noise function that will accept three parameters. And what are they? Image means original image, mean and standard deviation. Now, we will use as usual the, uh, you see in the normal uh, means, uh, machine learning class that we are, you're going to use NP random normal, which will create uh, uh, exactly means uh, a normal distribution. And because of that, you will get to know about the Gaussian noise. Ah, Gaussian noise, because Gaussian noise is now uh, been uh, dealt with this function at Gaussian noise. And that will be with respect to the defined mean and standard deviation. Now, the image dimensions are used to generate an array of noise using the image shape attribute. A noisy image is produced by 
this CB2 ad to combine the created noise with original image. And as a whole, the function will return a noise image. Anyway, I just give you an outline of the functions that we are using, but let's go to, go to the uh, implementation part, then it will be more clear to you. So I'm opening Spider where I'm going to deal with this code. Yeah, these are the codes. The first line is clear, clear to you, import CV2, then for OpenCV, of course, import numpy as NP for array-based operation. Now, this is the function I'm talking about. We are defining add Gaussian noise with these three parameters, image, original image, mean, mean this zero, and STD 25. Noise is assigned NP random dot normal, means this is a normal distribution, then mean, mean value, st std, standard deviation, and image shape, image dot shape, as type np, uint8. Okay, this integer values are there. So with this, this is being assigned to noise, then cv2 add image comma noise, means whatever the noise we have created in this line, we add this noise to what? Our original image. Image, comma, noise with the CB2 add function. And it has been assigned to the value. This values means this no, uh, added values to the image. Whatever the outcome comes, it has been assigned to noisy underscore image variable. Then return noisy image. So clear, with def keyword, we are defining add Gaussian noise where we are taking these three parameters, image, mean, and standard deviation, then noise, np random normal, mean, standard image dot shape, as type np uint8, noise image being assigned after cv2 dot add image comma noise, return noise image. Then, original image, where the location rise, mean cv2 image read, in my case, this is the location, you can specify yours. I'm considering linear image. If not found, if original image none, then raise exception. Image not loaded properly, check the file port. Right. Anyway, the noise image, add Gaussian noise. See, now we are calling this function. Add Gaussian noise, original image, means our original image, comma, mean 0 and standard deviation 25. Now, after these things done, after the noise added, Gaussian noise added, added manually, we are showing the original image with the CB2 IMSO function with this tagline, original image. Then CB2 IMSO, noisy image, noisy image, then wait key zero, so that you can just click the close button to close it. Then CB2 destroy all windows to release the memory. Clear? Is and every line clear? Now we go for running this. See, these are the outputs. This side, this is the original image. Right, let me clear this, okay. And this is the noisy or Gaussian noise added version of Lima. So I told you the white additive noise, right? Why? Because see, you can see that white dots are here over the image. Now, it would, by different means, giving different values of this means and then this STD, you may have a different output, but after all, why we call it as means uh, this white, <clears throat> uh, white additive noise or additive white Gaussian noise. Now you got it, the reason behind it, right? Because the outputs are like this, okay? Anyway, so I think that everything clear about Gaussian noise and uh, how it has been added manually in OpenCV using Python. So with this, I'm ending this session. I'll come up with some other noises like salt and pepper noise, random noise, and how to add them manually in the forthcoming lectures. Till then, keep practicing, and bye-bye. Take care.